Welcome to our lesson on community frequency graphs. So we're going to plot and interpret a community frequency graph from this data here. And community frequency means a running total. So our first community frequency is 2. And this means that there was a frequency of 2 with a weight less than or equal to 2 pounds. So we're going to use this upper bound. So the next community frequency is 19. This means that there's a frequency of 19 to a 17 less than or equal to 4 pounds. And for the weight less than or equal to 6 pounds, there is a community frequency of 43. And as we carry on with our running total, we're now going to add the 23 to make 66, the 10 to make 76, and add the 4 to make 80. So you can see now the total sample of 80. So to plot this community frequency graph, we're going to use the upper bound. So with a weight less than 2 here, there's a community frequency of 2. So we plot this point here. For a weight less than or equal to 4 pounds, there's a community frequency of 19. So we plot this point here. And then less than or equal to 6, we plot 43. Less than or equal to 8, we plot 66. And for 10, we plot 76. And finally, less than or equal to 12, we plot 80. So a community frequency graph should be a smooth curve that connects for points. So now we're going to use our community frequency graph to interpret our data. So now we're going to use the graph to estimate the median average. And the median average is the middle data point. Well, we've got a total sample of 80. So 0 to 80. And the middle data point will be the 40th sample, which is here. So to estimate the median, we're going to draw a line horizontal from 40 to our curve and then down from our curve to the weight axis. So you can see that the median weight is approximately 5.5 pounds. Okay, let's move on. We can also use our community frequency graph to estimate the frequency where the weight is less than five pounds. We can do this this time by going up from five pounds here to the graph and then going horizontally across and all the weights less than five pounds are here which means this is a frequency. So there were approximately 30 babies who weighed less than five pounds. Okay, let's try one more question. Do you want to try and estimate the number of babies born between the range of three to seven pounds? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So we're going to work out the three pounds We'll go across to our y-axis and we get approximately 10. And then we'll go up from 7 again to our curve. And then we will go across. And you can see this is approximately 55 pounds. So between 55 and 10, there were approximately 45 babies. Okay, thank you for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.